If you're an iPhone user, the best thing you can get for your car is Apple CarPlay. This will enable you to have all your navigation and music apps on your car head unit. And that means that you won't actually have to have the iPhone sitting on the windscreen anymore because you can access all of the functionality through your head unit. Apple CarPlay is a standard in many new cars. Of course, buying a new car is not really a realistic option just to get Apple CarPlay. The next best thing is to upgrade your car head unit because there's lots of options to be able to give you Apple CarPlay. So right here I have a Kenwood Double Din radio, but there are other options as well. For example, this Atoto Double Din unit, which also has uh, Apple CarPlay. The problem is the majority of Apple CarPlay head units require you to physically connect your phone to the head unit, which I'll show you now. As you can see, Apple CarPlay has come up on my Kenwood unit and it's allowing me to access Spotify, uh, my music tracks here, and maps as well. But what if you don't want to plug your phone in? What if you're keeping your phone in your pocket or in your handbag or wherever it is that you keep it and you just want to use Apple CarPlay straight away? Well, that is totally possible as long as you already have Apple CarPlay in your car. So if you have a modern car with a stock Apple CarPlay, this will work. If you have an aftermarket unit like I have here, this Kenwood, then this will work as well. So what you need is one of these. This is an Autocast wireless CarPlay adapter. There are different brands that you can buy, but the way that you measure quality with these is the speed in which they boot up and that you can get into CarPlay from the moment that you switch your car on. And this one has uh, been scoring pretty high, so I'm gonna show you it now. So the point of this is you plug this into your head unit instead of your phone. And the beauty of it is it doesn't need to be on show you can actually just pop it inside the dashboard and, and leave it there forever and your iPhone will wirelessly connect to this. So grab your Autocast device and plug it into the USB port on your head unit. Now as you can see, now that I've connected the Autocast device, the Kenwood radio is showing me this screen where it says use a Bluetooth connection or connect with USB. Now obviously we don't want to connect via USB so on my, uh, on my iPhone, I'm going to go to Bluetooth and then I'm going to search for devices and hopefully we're going to see Home 09EB and as you can see on my list of Bluetooth devices, there it is, so I'm going to tap on that and it says use CarPlay with Home 09EB and I said yes, I do want to use CarPlay and you can see Stuart's iPhone has now come up on the Kenwood radio and now you have Apple CarPlay on the radio and you can see that my phone is not connected, it is sitting right here in my hand, but I have access to all of my Spotify music and my, uh, my maps, etc. Everything exactly the same speed as I did have before and this is not connected. So let's see how quick it boots up. So I'm gonna switch off the car and I'm gonna switch it back on again now. for is the Apple CarPlay to come up here which it has so we can tap this now there we go and it says it's connecting and there we go it's connected so again I haven't touched the phone it's just sitting on the desk here here and uh, I have wireless Apple CarPlay so I'm pretty impressed with it it did everything it said it was going to do it's effective and fast so yeah pretty good I'll leave a link in the description in case you want one. If you have any questions about this, feel free to ask and I'll, uh, I'll look to answer them.